I don't know why I keep getting sick. Probably because the weather changed here and then I went to Detroit. It was very cold in Detroit. Did some things in Detroit. I coughed up something that was like a burnt orange color and flavor. I'm drinking this ginger tea and I'm congested. My teeth feel huge. This must be what Hillary Duff feels like. But let's just go ahead and start and get this over with because I need to lay down. Ooh, say what, say what. Start over. Ooh, say what, say what, say what. You know that I don't like you, baby. Baby. So Cassie and Diddy broke up after 11 years um, of getting into that monotone, non-singing non ass puss. When Cassie moans, she was probably flat. Diddy has been going on social media saying that he feels betrayed because Cassie is now with her new boo. Even though they said they haven't broken up for some months now, she does have a new boo. He was, I guess, their former trainer, their couple's trainer. I guess it's a great thing that they never got married. Um, even though y'all were mad about that too, talking about they were together for this many years, so why wouldn't they get married? It's amazing how much something that's not y'all business can just completely consume y'all. When I say y'all, I don't mean y'all. I just mean like general public. I hope that she's doing well. I feel like Cassie is just kind of here. Like I don't, Cassie, she should do ASMR. Singing career didn't work out. But ASMR by Cassie will be lit. Let's move on, cause I don't care. Usher and Junior Wine went through some pretty drastic uh, physical changes lately. Usher has a whole perm. Usher looks like he makes dough potato salad now, and Genuine just looks like he dunked his face in a bunch of Oreo crumbs, and uh, he looked like the outside of like an Oreo cheesecake. You know, like when they, when you know when you get an Oreo cheesecake, how they put all the Oreo crumbs on the outside of the cheesecake. If straight cis men are gonna continue to get perms and um, enhancements, such as beard enhancements and airbrushing and all these types of things, I don't want to hear shit else from y'all talking about how you how you only want a girl that looks good with makeup. I only want a dude that looks good without a beard and no hairline. So make that work. I'm down for whatever. I'm down for anybody doing whatever they want to do. Whomever, get a, get get you a like get you a perm, get you a line if you want a line. Go ahead and get like a like a mink goatee if that's what you want to do. I'm just down for people being comfortable. How it is they're comfortable. And if you look ridiculous, my girl, that's on you because my mouth isn't gonna go on that. But let me know what y'all think about these uh, these enhancements that men are doing lately. What do y'all think about the man weaves? What do y'all think about you know like the beard enhancements and that type of thing? Um, does it matter to you? Does it give you make you do a side eye? Like I don't know. It might be the new color contacts. I still have reservations. Um, I just cannot take color contacts seriously. I just, when I look at you, I feel like you're having a vision. But I'm getting over it because more of my friends are getting color contacts and so it's becoming more of a normal thing for me in my life. So my, my views are changing around it, but let me know what y'all think. And lastly, let's end on this fuck shit, uh, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart went on Ellen and yet again opened his mouth about this homophobic tweets and the Oscars and the, all the whole, all of the things. Ellen actually caused a bit of an uproar though because she is now co-signing and supporting, well not co-signing, but she's supporting Kevin Hart saying that he deserves a second chance and blah 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 blah. She said that she spoke on behalf, I read somewhere, I, I watched the interview but I didn't actually see the part, I didn't see the portion where Ellen was speaking, I only saw the portion. Um, where Kevin Hart was giving his kind of two cents on everything. But I read that she forgives him, she believes that he deserves a second chance, that she speaks for like the LGBT community when they when she says these things. Here's the thing, Ellen don't speak for me. My whole thing with this Kevin Hart situation is that he keeps saying he doesn't want to bring up the negativity. Just drop the negativity. Y'all bringing more negativity into my life. That's not the case. You started it. You said these things. And then you said them multiple times. And yes, we understand that it was, what, 10 years ago or a while back, but you were grown when you said it. So you were, you were wrong, and you knew you were wrong at that time, but you just said the shit anyway. I acknowledge that you have apologized since then, but what, I'm, what's, what I think is upsetting the community here is your resistance to the commitment of that apology. An apology isn't just something you say, an apology is something that you do, it's something that you that you put real effort behind because when you when you genuinely apologize for something when you when you genuinely 
regret saying or doing something. You take steps to make sure that the people that you hurt know that you will never do that again and you know why it's hurtful. That's where you're getting lost in the sauce, Mr. Hart. It doesn't come off as genuine because you're just making yourself seem like the victim in all this. You're making it seem like everyone's trying to bring you down and everyone's trying to bring all this negative negativity into your life and um, we're just being so unreasonable by asking, am I ashy? Have I been ashy this the whole time with my knee just straight up in the air? This isn't about you. He keeps saying like, my name's in the, in the headlines and now the headlines are changing from this to this. This is not about you. And the fact that you think this is still about you, this is why niggas are still mad. It's about the comments you made and the people that it hurt. That's what the shit is about. So as soon as you shift your focus from trying to protect yourself from comments that you made that weren't even hurtful to you, that people aren't even really criticizing you for, but we're just wanting you to just acknowledge the shit and apologize and actually own up to the apologies that you made, then I think this will change for you. But until then, it's gonna stay this way and I'm gonna just feel how, and I feel how I feel about it. That's it for me, y'all. I hope that you like this video. <laughs> I'm in shambles. Hope that you enjoy your Sunday. Make sure that you like and comment on this video. Love you guys. Do this for y'all. And um, send a prayer for me. Okay, I really don't want to be sick next week. I'll see you guys very soon in another video.